Hi everybody, Kevin Huey, Andrew Maynard. Welcome to Archie Marathon. Where are we? We're in Canberra. Yeah. Where's Canberra? I meant where are we? Like, oh, what's oh this? here, this, this is the Australian War Memorial Annex by Taglietti. Enrico Taglietti, 1977. The best architect ever. Roll intro. Teglit, Teglit, Teg, Teg. Now you screw me up. It's uh, Teg, the Teg, best. Teg, Teglibu, you know, Teglietti, Teglietti. The best architect Australia's ever had, whose name I can't say. Woo! It's good. Yeah? Yeah. So, who was he? Who? Rico. I don't know, I don't know. What, one thing I do know is the Empire client actually engaged him to do a little renovation previously on a different house. And they had no idea who he was. They just went to the local architect and then he started working away and then they kind of realized, holy shit, you're kind of a big deal and they freaked out. Yeah, so he's um, Northern Italian, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an Italian architect who migrated to Australia and started working in Canberra. He kind of loves it. Around that time, Australia was pretty modern looking and forward looking. And yeah, so he was doing this amazing stuff, but also with amazing nuances. Mm. So it's not just a, I hate that word, international style, you know, modernism, but it's definitely something that has a lot more character. And yeah. I think Canberra owes so much to him. Just amazing. Yeah, and this building didn't need to be this good. Like, you just look at the corners of, of it. It could have just been a fortress, but how each corner has this sort of, this little spire coming out, going, hi, I'm a, I'm a civic building. And then there's just that one corner where it actually erodes down and the greenery overflows. I think that's kind of interesting. It is, it is kind of a fortress in, in the sense of like a sort of Italian hill town, you know, the fortified yeah. wall, you know, with the turrets in the corners. But then you've got these kind of brick buildings sort of poking through and they're all slightly different geometry as well, just like a town, really. I think yeah. there's, there's that kind of beautiful it's breaking down of the, of the volumes. Yeah, it's a village inside a fortified wall. And then also, as we've noticed everywhere, where, the, where he has in this boundary wall two angles that meet, it's then got that little curve, which as you pointed out, Scarpa did a lot in some in, of his projects yeah. as well, but he would put a bit of brass or something. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Instead of just having the chunk, a place where it would end up cracking. Place with the junctions. Yeah. Off form concrete walls, so you get the timber texture, even though it's concrete, and then sitting inside that, you've got color bond and red brick, so it's got that Australian vernacular. But also the, the very, very granular timber boarding as well. So it they, they kind of echoes the, the walls, yeah. and the texture. Which is actually a palette of materials with those big timber eaves that he used in his schools and libraries as well. Hmm. So even though this is, uh, you know, the War Memorial sort of building and inward looking, it's using the same materials he used for other civic buildings. So there are other buildings, plenty of other buildings to see. A lot of them are houses. There's the Dixon Library, there's a few primary schools, quite a few, but... For some reason, Kevin doesn't want to go and stick a camera in a primary school. Oh. I, I don't know. And, and for the brief, for being a war memorial annex, yeah. I think that there's monumentality about it, even though it's a completely industrial district. Like there's trucks and stuff where we parked and big mm. sheds. This is powerful. Yeah. And beautiful. And I don't, again, another thing I don't think people would visit in Canberra, but I think it's one of the gems. I don't think people know it exists. Cam Canberrians do. Yeah. It's pretty hot. Come check it out. And hopefully, like us, some jerk will come and hassle you for filming a government building. I can't believe how much that's been happening and it's not cool, okay? If we're in public space filming a public building, what is this paranoid state we live in? Well, it's a Commonwealth building, so that is tax money. We paid for that building. Yeah. Well, probably our yeah. parents or parents' parents. Yeah. But yeah, it is, it is public money. This is, this is why there's effort in the public face. Yeah, exactly. If we weren't to come here and celebrate it, why would they make it so beautiful? Hmm. They would hide I'd, it underground, wouldn't they? Or just knock it down. Then. But it's just douchebags. Just like, I want to show you how powerful I am. I work for the government. Well, it's the nanny state. We're getting a lot more of that going on now. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. When I was a kid, you used to be able to just walk straight into the high court. Yeah, but, you know, it'd be like America. It's no photo, sir. Yeah, why? No photo, Can sir. We chill the hell out, please? It took me a while to really process this, but none of us will ever be as good as Taglietti. Best Australian architect ever? Probably. He's like the Australian Scarpa. And look at how much thought's in here. Like, there's a metre box detailed into the wall. A huge roof delivering all of the rain here. And instead of just a dumb rain head, the overflow is expressed in timber, just like these other awnings. And that comes down and follows that window opening. Another overflow from something, probably pipes or gas oh, here. And he's actually tripping. clad them in timber instead of just hanging surfaces out of the wall. So definitely brutalist in a way. And what are those? I'm assuming that's a gas pipe or something like that, and he's just clad it in timber. So all of the junk that ends up getting pasted onto a building, he's thinking about from day one. So it's kind of like a graphic almost. <laughs> it is. It's it very different colours and different. Like that's lime washed. Yeah. And that's dark, and yeah. then that's light. Yeah. And so it plays in with this huge concrete wall with these uh, awnings hanging over. So what was this, Kev? The War Memorial Annex. So yeah, it's kind of 70s. storage, laboratories. 70s? Oh, 1977. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? I have no idea what that is, but I'm assuming some sort of venting from inside. And so what this is, is um, it's not a public, well, it's a public building, but it's, they're not public spaces. So it's basically a storage and labs. So it's, you know, you don't have access to it. So they could have just built metal sheds or big brick walls and defended from the street, which it is. It is, it is defensive, but it is civic in nature. It is trying to offer something back to the street. And when this was built, there was nothing else around here. So instead of just trying to create a dead building, uh, Taglietti has tried to create materials, openings, gardens that relate back to the street. Like this is the most prominent corner, isn't it, Kev? And this is where he actually lowers everything down and tries to get some greenery through here. Absolutely no need to do this, consider it was a hid, meant to be hidden functions, but he does something civic and generous. Oh, oh is that, that guy just took a photo of us and then ducked around the corner. Who? I don't know. Someone Man did. in black, yeah. Huh. Man in black. I'm waiting for the AFB to turn Are up. Are going to get the... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. We're oh, suddenly, yeah. We, yeah. We'll you forget everything. everything. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm leaving now before, the, before you get in tr more trouble. 